Good morning everyone and welcome to a another video. I actually don't know if it's morning right now because I don't know when I'm going to be posting this video. But it's morning for me right now so that's what we're going to go with. So we're going to go with good morning. Um, this is going to be a quick video I promise. I know I keep saying that but we're just doing a record pour today and it's nothing super fancy. <clears throat> so it should be quick. Um, for my records, I don't really do anything. I just make sure they're clean. And then on the back, I put a little Avery label over the, the hole. So the paint doesn't all go through the bottom. I have done pours where I put the label on the front and then poured over the top. And that was not a good idea because you could see the label through the paint. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, yeah, just go to your local like thrift store, guys. They probably have records. And I got like... I don't know, 30 for two dollars or something. Um, and for me, I, I've done, I don't know, like 35 record pours. And honestly, there's only been like two out of that many that I haven't liked. Um, because I think there's something about the circular nature of these that for me, they just always look really cool. Um, yeah, so I mean, if you can't get records, try circle canvases or the wood the circle wood boards I know they're more expensive but definitely worth it they're really fun um so yeah I'm just gonna dirty flip cup it I'm gonna do I didn't even think of my colors <laughs> terrible at that um white and black for sure I'm gonna try to mix my cursed white in there you know I'm having issues with that if you've been watching my videos um I think I'm gonna use this is the it's, um metallic black from Artist Loft. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, I think I kind of want to go towards a darker looking one. So I think I'm going to go with the phthalo green. Sorry, my nose is more snuffly this morning. The freaking wind kicked up last night and ugh, it's just a struggle. Okay. So I'm going to start pouring up black down there. Oh, I saw something gloopy. That's right. We'll catch it. Um, yeah. Anyway. So, I don't know. It's the weekend. And I bought yesterday at the thrift store. Because, why not? Um, I bought vases. To do a couple of vase pours. Because those are really fun. Um, and bought some wine glasses, and I'm gonna try and, um, just painting, mixing up this silvery black. I'm gonna try to flip the wine glass upside down and, like, do a tiny little pour on the bottom of the, the glass and see how that goes. So, got a couple of experiments coming this weekend. I mean, the base pour is not an experiment. I've done those before in there really fun. Should definitely try vase pours as well. Again, your local thrift store. Like, we don't have a Goodwill here. <clears throat> we, we used to have one. And then it shut down for whatever reason. I don't know. Stores tend to do that around here. This is Emerald Green from Folk Art, so I am mixing brands in here. Um, so we have what's called a, it's called DART, which is Desert Area Resources and Training, I think is what it stands for. Anyway, that's our thrift store, and I went there, and they had like 50% off housewares, so I got like eight wine glasses and like four vases for like three dollars, guys, it was awesome. So you don't have to necessarily buy new things to test out pouring on, I would... Definitely recommend going to the thrift store. Thrift shopping, like Macklemore says. <laughs> okay, stop talking, Cheyenne. Just focus. Okay, this is turquoise from the um, Desert Turquoise from uh, Deco Art. And then I think I'll do the white last. Just because I don't know about the white. I'm wondering if I should throw some of the copper in there that I have been milking for like ever now. I'll just make this super metallic -y, why not? And 
And this is Antique Copper Extreme Sheen from Deco Art. And a little bit of that goes a long way, trust me. Um, that should be good. Maybe I'll add a tiny little bit of purple. Yeah, let's do a little bit of purple. And then the white, and then we'll flip. And we'll try to cut this video down. I swore I was going to try to do that because these videos are getting ridiculously long. Actually, I think the one I posted before this was like 30 minutes or something, you guys. That was some crazy shenanigans I was having last night. Okay, then the white, and then we will flip. Fingers crossed that does something. This freaking white. I'm gonna just switch back over. I keep saying that. Oh, and then I just knock everything over. Gosh, I should go back to bed. <laughs> okay, so there's stuff happening in the cup already a little bit, which is always cool. So, so I just put it like right in the middle of the label and then just flip it like you would anything else. And then it kind of does start moving around just because of the ridges so it doesn't stay really super suctioned on there for <clears throat> that reason. Uh, but, sorry, I'm gonna yawn. I haven't noticed, I know some people take like the label off, if you can. Um, just in my experience, I have, I'm like looking one at the, on my wall right now. Like, let's see. Well, that's sitting there. So like this one, is one that I put the label on the front, so you can kind of see it there. Um, I didn't take the label off. I think the label got a little bit wet right here, so it kind of has like a little texture going on, but it ha didn't peel off or anything, so I haven't really noticed the need to um, remove the label. Um, I'm sure people do. This Dealer's preference, I guess, right? Dealer's choice. Okay, I'm going to just center this up a little bit, and then I'm just going to go for it. See? I told you that copper. I hardly put any in there, you guys. I love that stuff. And it looks like it's just going to go ahead and cover up the white, because that seems to be what we do with this white. I'm going to torch it a little bit because there is bubbles. White pin pricking again. I don't know what the deal is, you guys. Okay. That's flipping copper, man. I shouldn't have added it. <laughs> Alright, and then you just kind of tilt it. Just like everything else. Um... I would say put more paint in these than you normally would your regular paintings because, um, I mean, when you tilt it, you kind of have to tilt, like, in a circle. And then what you end up with is these weird, like, circular, wispy edges, which sometimes looks cool. I sometimes think they don't look cool, so... Um, yeah, the more paint on there, the less you have to tilt. That freaking white, you guys. I'm done with it. I'm telling you. Okay. And then if you know anything about me, I have a real weirdness with my edges, which you don't have to worry about with record pores, which is cool. So basically, I should have just done copper and black is what I'm getting from this now. <laughs> um, the white, I, like I said, it's gone. It's going to pinprick through here, which is flipping annoying to me. Um, yeah, this metallic gray kind of looks gray, I guess. I mean, I should have expected that. <laughs> so I'm going to go wash my hands, let this sit here. It might sell up some more, um, and then I'll be back. Alright, so this is just a few minutes later, like my normal standard wait time, I don't know, probably not even 10 minutes, I just went and swept the floor because it's been super windy, and I live in a mobile, you guys, and it just gets dusty, but 
but yeah, I think it will continue to sell a little bit in these areas, maybe a little bit more here. I did torch down here again because there was a lot of bubbles. I don't know what this white is doing, but the colors are cool right up here. So, I don't know, you can like, here, I want to show you some, an example, like look. So this is one I did, and I thought it looked like a night sky here, so I went in and I painted like a silhouette. And I splattered white on for like stars. So I need to clean that up a little bit. And that'll be on Etsy eventually at some point. But that's just an example of things you can do with these things. Because they are really cool. So like here I could, if I wanted to, do another one of those down here in this area. It looks kind of cool up here. But anyway, let's get you down for close up. super glare because of the window but this copper you guys seriously takes over and you saw how much I used I used like a tiny little bit so very potent stuff Some little cells right there so I like the the color scheme it looks kind of like a nebula I think I don't know but that dang white Anyway, I do like the way it looks. I might do something with it a little more down here to like kind of cover that area up. I don't know, but I kind of like that area. So we'll see. Um, I will post dried pictures on my Instagram when it's done, which I will link in the description box. And if you like this video, hit subscribe and more will be coming.